Hello, today is Monday. It is the uh, 10th of September 2012. Quick silver update as we managed to see the price action move up uh, late last night to around $34 per ounce. Depends on how you're looking at the futures contracts probably barely broke it. The XAG slash USD went up to $33.96 as this is priced in US fiat currency. We'll talk a little bit more about that as we get into uh, Ben Bernanke. But before we do, let's just take a look at how the chart setup is coming into play. You have your gain. There's that little bit of a correction. Upward gain, uh, lower momentum to the upward gain. Nice move and movement. And just a little bit more of sideways consolidation thus far for today. It's still fairly early in the day. A lot more can come into play as well. It is overextended. Does that mean it has to sell off now? Well, we know that the 33.5 level, both 33.58, 33.42, that little area there, is more longer term Fibonacci possible resistance. So if it's not resistance, the good thing to note is that it will extremely shoot up. Is that a good way of saying extremely shoot up? But you know what I mean, that if this area is not resistance, you could expect a continuous further gains. As far as trend lines are concerned, this was the original trend line. The rate of ascent has picked up. Starting from the break at lows, this is the new rate of ascent. As far as the Federal Reserve is concerned, you can uh, see that uh, this week on Wednesday and Thursday, it is reported that the FOMC minutes will be coming into play. Ben Bernanke will say some things that he's going to be saying, and you'll probably hear within the mainstream media, or at least within different sites, about people talking about quantitative easing 3. I look at quantitative easing like a Friday the 13th uh, mirage of sequels, as there is multiple, multiple, multiple. They are just really bad, scary flicks, if you will, and... Well, at some point they say that it's over and it's going to be dead and then they'll do a bunch more. Now, they haven't said yet that it's over and there won't be any more. Oh, just wait and see, though. After all, if you know how fiat currency is created and you're wondering if there's going to be quantitative easing uh, three or whatever number we're on or not, then you haven't figured out yet how, quanti or how uh, fiat currency is created because if you know how it's done then you would know without a shadow of a doubt that they have no choice but to keep on stimulating this currency with the debt-based system. No choice whatsoever. All right, so we'll wait and see how this works. Out. The easiest prediction within the Fed is that a bunch of stuff's going to happen today and tomorrow. A little volatile. Then on Wednesday, before the Fed speaks, the volatility will shrink, short term, whatever the five minute time frame that day is. Expect a symmetrical triangle, some sort of pattern like this, I don't know, where you can make an uptrend and a downtrend line at the same point, that is. And we will wait and see how it plays out, but the big uh, wager, or I don't know about wager, but the big expectation for... The Fed minutes will be that the markets will be extremely volatile. And thank you for tuning in.